because I'd never done anything like this. So it was, the first three or four weeks was very um, challenging and I was kind of dispirited as well. Um, but Lawrence is great because he doesn't actually teach you as such. He kind of guides you and nudges you and, and you go away and do your own stuff and do a lot of self and nice. stuff. And you <laughs> get pushed into um, an area where suddenly a whole new world opens up. Um, it's very hard to explain in words, and you're probably looking at me thinking, oh, this guy's full of crap. I mean, how's that going to happen? But you will see. <laughs> it, it is amazing. And it happened to many of the people in that class, actually. So um, people who never thought they could do anything came up with a show that was just, you know, just amazing. So um, you've, got, you've got that to, wait, to uh, look forward to. Quit looking at me so much. That's what I'm <laughs> sorry, you just happen to be in the wrong, in the wrong spot. <laughs> Um, anyway, it's, it's a voyage of discovery. So let me show you some of the stuff that... Now, this didn't exist as of um, 10 weeks ago. So this has all been... Because I've kind of been wanna inspired, if you like. switch off the light behind you? So these are some of the pictures that I took and I brought in thinking, you know, this could be the series that I want to put in my show. And I was very excited about it. And and that was my series of three. I had a few other things where there was a lot of yellow in it, and I thought yellow might be a theme, or maybe the beach, and I had a bunch of stuff about the beach that I won't bore you with here. Um, but essentially, that was one of my early series. And the problem was that I didn't have a thematic link. So here's another little series, um, which is basically portraits. I, Took a few portraits and and yeah, you know they're they're okay, but you don't kind of the feeling from Lawrence particularly and, and some of the people in the class was yeah, there's there's something there, but it isn't enough to form a series as such. Um, so this was another one. <laughs> um, and I really love these pictures and I thought oh, I'm done week five I'm done I'm, I'm good to go I have three series bring it into class very proud and Lawrence goes nice pictures but no. there isn't a good thing very diplomatic so then I thought well what about I do something that I'm passionate about and as I should be I'm passionate about my wife um, and her passion is tap dancing. So I took my camera along one day and, and did some shots of um, her and her friend um, in the studio. Um, and I thought, well, you know, maybe this is a series. And again, I, I love these and I thought, well, this could be a theme. But the thing is that in fact, this is more of a finished series than most of the other ones I've shown you. Um, and so, I was really stuck. This was about week five, week six, I think. And Lauren said, look, your technical side is not so bad. You can, you know, but you need to kind of just go and explore and do a lot more things that, um, and find something that actually speaks to us. And eventually, as all great ideas do, this one came to me in the shower. Yeah. And this ended up being my final series. Um, and so what I'll do is I'll just let them play. So I'm not. Yes. So I was having a shower one day. I just changed the lights. The, the room was much brighter. And onto the shower, the shower curtain fabric, the images were projected onto the uh, droplets on the shower curtain. And so I loved what I saw. And I thought, hmm, I should try and photograph these. And so I bought myself a lens. I pushed my tripod in there, um, had a shower, and <laughs> actually, not in that order. Um, and then I took 
lots and lots of pictures. And so 12 of these ended up being my final series. Um, I love them. I think they almost have another worldly character to them. I imagine them just floating around in space, these colorful little balls. I love it. Anyway. Um, I think you have to explain how you got all these different textures out of the same. Oh, yes. Um, so we have a shower curtain liner, which is semi transparent, and then you have fabric behind it, and then the light sits behind the fabric. And so it's basically transilluminating the patterns in the fabric. Um, and that's what appears. Um, and if you have the right lens, um, and I had a macro uh, lens, and so you can get great images. Um, I sold a few, uh, which was always it's always nice. Um, at the show, but at the show you sold. At the show, um, we sold. I sold four of the show and two after, um, and that was good. Um, it's always a good feeling when people seem to like what you do. But for me, the greatest satisfaction was actually that I felt that I'd broken through a barrier that I couldn't think in non-technical terms, you know, every time I used to photograph before it was always, am I getting the framing right, am I getting the exposure right, am I getting the aperture right, am I, is the shutter speed okay, blah, 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 blah. Um, somewhere along the line, I don't think like that anymore. For me, is, it, is the image right or not? 